Hi everyone, it's Missy. As you can see, we got quite the standing water. I actually scared a few ducks this morning coming out. <laughs> they, we call them puddle ducks. They'll eventually head off to the sloughs and stuff, but I don't see any out here today. All the birds have come back. I just heard a morning dove as I opened up the door to come out. So definitely feeling like spring. So today I was going to show you a little update on the calves and basically how we're feeding them. I still haven't started feeding them out of this bunk over here because they're just not all big enough. We have quite the size variants going there. I got two really small ones. We did move the board up so that way they can feed out of there in the near future. And here they are. We got the outdoor water going. They got the bale out there that they're eating off of and now that they hear me they know it's ready for time for some feed. So just coming into the barn. Oh I do have one in here. That's interesting. Usually they always stick with each other so. Why are you in here all by yourself? Usually when there's one away from the group it ain't doing too well. So, but maybe it just came in to see if there was any feed. I'll keep my eye on that one. So as you can see, we do have the chute set up just in case we have to run someone through. Um, there hasn't really been any illness, so I haven't had to run anyone through for that. But we do have it set up because I want to weigh these guys pretty soon to see how well they're doing. Um, currently, I think the largest ones are about 400 to 500 pounds. And of course, the smallest ones would be around 300. You can see we have a little smaller one over there and one back there. So just trying to get them on the same gain ratio, I should call it. Uh, usually when we bring these to market, we'll hold back the smallest one for butchering for ourselves. And that way, just when the group rolls through the corral for bidding, uh, they look more consistent in size. So. Um, I'll get everything set up for feeding and let you guys see what I do. Alright, the first thing I gotta do is sweep out the bunk. You can see there's a chicken down there. And usually the chickens go through and eat up any leftover grain, but they also poop in there. And so I want to sweep that out because the calves do not appreciate that at all. feed looks like after I pour it in. that was just keeping it even and then giving them plenty of space that they can move around. Number eight doesn't really care for people or the camera but she's doing pretty good considering. Um, like I said I have a mixture of steers and heifers so when I say he and she yeah we do have a mixture of genders in this group which has really been interesting but you can see the feed that they're eating. Corn and then of course the vitamin pellets and a lot of people ask me, how do you mix your feed? I buy it mixed from our local feed mill, and then there's a nutritionist there that creates the blend for us. So, And that's pretty much it. Um, later tonight, I'll come in and I'll show you the night setup. I'm still locking them in. This will be the last weekend that I do that, simply because we have quite a few coyotes in the area. And the two little ones 
they're now getting big enough now. We don't have to lock them in, but I have been. We had our first uh, thunderstorms roll through last night, and so everyone was inside and was kept dry. And then we have more thunderstorms forecasted for tonight. So I'll just lock the door probably for the last time um, and show you that process. Otherwise, after this, they'll have the door wide open at all hours. So I'll come back and show you the night routine. All right, so it's nighttime out on the farm. It's about 9 p.m. And it's time to put the calves in the barn for the night. You can see it's pretty dark out. I haven't heard any rustling of animals so far. The worst thing I could run into right now would be a skunk, honestly. So, um, over in the barnyard we do have some lights out, so that way the cattle can see the water, they can see the hay. You can't see the cattle because it's black. I'm black, and I do see them out there. If you look close enough, you can see the light kind of shine off of their ear tags. So we're coming up. I can hear them. It's pretty foggy out, pretty drizzly. They're over by the bale feeder, a few of them. And I got a chicken up on the bale here. I wonder if she'll come in. Usually when I turn the lights on in the barn, people will come in. There we go. So now we're in the barn. And it's time to get some hay in that middle bunk. So I'm going to try to set you guys up over on the other side, I think. I got some sparrows flying through. And when the calves hear me, they'll be coming in. Oh, and another thing too is you always want to make sure that you have water available. So I got a five gallon bucket there. I got to fill it up with water again. Um, so that way they have something to drink. They're not big, heavy drinkers at night. But you do have to have the water there. Here they come in. You guys already heard me, huh? Alright. Yeah, you think you're going to get more feed. That just ain't going to happen.
Alright, so I just had a quick run outside and latched the door for me. From there. They're all busy eating away. I almost had a couple of them follow me through the gate. <laughs> so that was interesting. So now we gotta fill up that water. Cause it looks like number eight already wants to have a drink, huh? Got that done. All right. Looks like everyone is doing okay. And that's what a night routine is. All I have to do is just shut off the lights. And I was just taking the hay from the stack over here. I'm just bringing it through. I got to tie that gate to the chute shut and uh, everyone's ready for tomorrow morning Oops. there we go if you have any questions let me know otherwise thanks for watching everyone bye